one of my secrets is to always have some sort of prepared items, whether it's in the refrigerator or in the freezer. And I'm going to make a red wine sauce today. It's something I always have on hand. Super, super versatile. Freeze as well. And if you've got around, even sometimes I'll freeze it in ice cube trays and then just go ahead and add it to even sauteed chicken breasts at the end of a dish. Uh, and I've got an instant sauce that tastes great. And it's very, very simple. Okay. Three ingredients that I've got right now. Okay. I've got some uh, shallot thyme finishing butter, but ironically, we're actually going to start with it for this recipe. And I'm just going to take a couple of tablespoons. All right. And all I want to do is melt that. And that should just take a, a minute or two to melt. It should take a couple of minutes. And this is just a foundation for the red wine sauce. Okay. So the butter's melted. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, take the heat from low up to medium. And I've got one cup of dry red wine. You know, always the rule of thumb, anything you'd want to drink is what you should be cooking with. And I'm just going to go ahead and add this whole cup of red wine. And now it's just a, a matter of time and pressure. I want to let this reduce. Uh, it's going to take about 12 or 15 minutes. And when I say reduce, I just mean I want the flavor to concentrate. Because uh, this is really, we're just going to use it as a flavoring agent. So we're going to reduce the amount of liquid, concentrate the flavor, and use that to fortify uh, our demi glass. And we're going to wind up with a perfect sauce. All right, so this is what I mean by reduction. We took that cup of red wine and brought it down to about a quarter of a cup. If I tilt the pot here, you can just kind of see that it looks a little thicker. It's not quite syrupy, but the flavor is really concentrated. And now I just have an eight ounce bag of our prepared demi glace that's just going to go right in there. I'm going to give that a quick stir. And that's what I say. This is such a great base sauce, and it goes really well with beef. And tonight, I'm going to serve it with some perfectly roasted beef tenderloin. I just have some sliced here on a plate. This is just a gorgeous red wine sauce. It's really going to make the difference for your holiday meal. Uh, try it just as it is or try any of the other three variations in the recipe. I think you're going to love it.